started, uh, we're gonna get into some uh, pretty basic customizations you can do at home. I know we're on this uh, quarantine situation, so this will give you something to do with some clothes you got uh, laying around that you maybe wanted to alter for a while. Um, I'm gonna be using all Dickies products. I'm gonna be using a Dickies work shirt, a pair of coveralls, and then um, what we're gonna be doing pretty much is we're gonna be cropping and hemming a work shirt. Um, I have a sewing machine fortunately, but you can do all of this with a needle and thread. As if you've never seen a needle and thread before, but there you go. Um, I, f I feel like that's a pretty um, common thing to have uh, laying around the house. Um, and then we're gonna be tapering some uh, pants in a uh, different way than what's normally done. Uh, in a way that I think is a little simpler, so it should be pretty uh, easy to do. Um, and last but not least, which is pretty relevant to today's situation, is uh, we're going to be making a face mask, uh, which requires just one uh, run of uh, sewing, so it's pretty easy to do. I think anybody can do it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing we're going to be doing is uh, cropping a work shirt. But pretty much, what you're gonna do, you can do this with any kind of t-shirt or a work shirt, whatever it is. Maybe it's a little too long for you or maybe you're just wanting to crop it uh, for the summertime. But um, all you really have to do is uh, take a ruler, measuring tape, whatever you have around the house and just measure up how far you want it up. So with this, I'm gonna be getting rid of this uh, top button or this last button here. Um, so I just measured halfway up to um, in between uh, these two buttons here with enough space to be able to hem it if I wanted to do that. So I got uh, five and a half inches up from the middle and this uh, shirt actually has a little bit of a curvature to it, which I want to get rid of. So I'm just going to do a straight line all the way across. So um, if you have a long enough ruler to go all the way through, you can just draw a straight line across. But um, there's also the Dickies Icon logo tag here that I want to keep. So I went ahead and pre-moved this. I just use a seam ripper. You can also use a, um, an X-Acto knife or any um, kind of knife you have around the house. Just make sure you use it uh, with a lot of uh, attention and be careful with it. Uh, so I'm going to be pretty much cutting this off and then moving the Icon logo up here and then sewing back on. So. First step is pretty easy. So you're gonna grab your scissors or whatever you have laying around to cut. I want you to cut straight across. That takes care of that. All right, so now we have this leftover fabric. You can use this probably to even make a mask. So we might do something with that later. But for now, we're just gonna move it over to the side. Um, you have obviously the option to hem this and all you would nearly need to do is just fold this over one time and then just sew it down. Um, or actually you probably fold it over twice. Uh, I would say just like a quarter of an inch and then tuck it over one more time and then do a top stitch. And you can also do that by hand. It might be a little uh, time consuming, but it's definitely possible. But for this one, I actually want to keep the raw edge and let it fray naturally uh, after every wash. And over time, it'll start fraying and it'll just get, give it kind of like a, an edgier look. So all I need to do now is um, put my logo back on. And you can really put it wherever you want, but I kind of like the place that it was before. So I'm just gonna put it there and then take a pin, pin it in place. Like that, it's a little crooked, but we can adjust that. All right, now we're ready to take it over to the sewing machine. You would find a thread that matches the uh, logo and the shirt, but I'm using white uh, stitching just to make it a little easier to see on camera. So we're doing white contrast stitching and it might actually look pretty good. But like I said before, you can do this, you can definitely do this with um, a hand uh, needle and sew it on by hand. It's, it is not very uh, hard to do. We're gonna go ahead and just make sure we get, I'm trying to follow the original holes it left behind from the old stitching and we're just gonna sew it.
Now that we have one secure stitch in, we can go ahead and take the pin out just to make sure I don't prick myself. And then whenever you're dealing with the sewing machine in like, you know, bulky fabric, you just gotta, you know, handle the fabric and do what you have to do to kind of make it a little easier. So just push it through and then continue the stitch. We're done with that and the stitching, since I have uh, the long stitch, you kind of like crumble it up a little bit. But if you had a shorter length, um, that would obviously look a little bit better. It's just a bad example, but you can kind of get the idea. Uh, all we have to do now is cut the stitching or cut the loose threads. Now you have a nice cropped shirt. Uh, pretty basic uh, tutorial. Um, I hope you use it while you're in quarantine, you know, if you're bored. Uh, take an old piece of clothing and make something new out of it. Make it fun.